This is Jeanette, who says, I have a 17-year-old daughter who's very disrespectful towards me. If I ask her to do something, she refuses. How can I change her behavior? You know, the Bible says bring up a child in the way that they shall go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. You should have started with this child when she was three, four, five, six, seven. You let her get away with this till she's so big you can't do anything to her. The only way you can control this right now is so-called tough love. Say, look, yeah. dear, you're living in my house, you're eating my food, and you're, you're, you're riding on my nickel. And if you, you don't want to continue to do that, you do what I tell you. Uh, there isn't any other way. You can pray and ask God to touch her. You're right. And when you're in the middle of that struggle, it feels so wrong. Oh, but yeah. you got you got to stick to your guns. You know, you, you do give a child a lot of privileges. And I think if they're not coming to the Tough table, love. a family Tough. is a team. You know, in, the, in the Old Testament, I mean, don't think I'm advocating this, but in the Old Testament, if a child was disrespectful and, and disobeyed the parents, the parents, they would bring them into the, to the high priest, to the court or whatever, and they'd, they'd, they'd stone them to death. I mean, they really did. I mean, they didn't let that kind of stuff go on, yeah. this kind of rebellious spirit that you find yeah. in teenagers. You know, sometimes also, though, a, a parent can have raised a child up in a certain way, and they get with the wrong group of kids when they get into oh, a certain yeah, age in sure, school. Sure. That can change a heart, you know. Well, it's keep a on tough loving place them. You be. always say, keep loving them, keep praying. But, you know, tough love. Kids want boundaries, you know. Anyhow, go ahead. Okay, this is from Anonymous, who says, My wife is having an emotional affair with a man at work. I told her it must stop, but I found out she bought a prepaid phone to continue. I left, but what else can I do? He left? He left the, the home, I guess. She's, he left the relationship and left the home. Well, I mean, what else can you do? I mean, you know, you could, again, pray. You can tell her that I love you. Mm -hmm. Communicate it clearly. I love you very much, but I cannot share you with another man. I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Make it clear. Don't send a mixed message. But, boy, that must tear your heart out, and it's mm -hmm. very difficult. But what do you do? Well, you ask the Lord. You could, you say, well, she needs counseling. She needs this, that, and the other. But uh, You have to be willing to go to get help. That's though. right. Yeah. And, and, and if she's rebellious and she's, oh, I'm in love with him. Oh, he just fulfills all the, you know, you wait and live with that Prince Charming and see exactly what he's like. But yeah. that will be down the road a bit. Okay, this is Beth, who says, I'm running out of ways to encourage my husband. He's been unemployed for two years. How can I keep a positive outlook? <laughs> How can I keep a positive? You know, by doing it. Every day, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord mm -hmm. hath made. And take your husband by the hand and say, honey, let's pray about your situation. Let's bring it before the Lord. Let's ask God for miracles. And you begin to let faith rise in your heart and let faith rise in his heart. And the two of you together begin to pray for jobs. And then you certain, you ask. You can't just give it up. But maybe, maybe he's asking for the wrong thing. Maybe he is a designer of textiles or something, and there are not any jobs in that. Well, you may have to look for a different field. So you may have to help him to find uh, another calling. Mm -hmm. But he will destroy himself if all he does is hang around the house. That's true. This is Ramona who asks, why is it hard for my husband and I to get ahead financially? We can't even stay caught up on mortgage, bills, car payments. Could this be a generational curse? No, I think it is a curse. You've got a mortgage, you've got car payments, et cetera. It means that you have already overspent your budget. You've got to have a budget and you have to live within the budget. And you have to say, I cannot afford that car. I cannot afford certain things at the store. I cannot go out and shop and buy a new outfit. I can't do it. You have to get put on a piece of paper how much you need to survive. And then how much money will you have? And it's they call that a budget, and you need it, and you obviously don't have one. Yes, yeah, sometimes you have to make some drastic steps because oh, in yeah. our world, not too long ago, everybody was living beyond their means. So well, it's, it's you got to get rid of the car. Maybe yes. you you downsize your house if you can do it. It's hard to get rid of a house, it but sure is. look for ways. God will show you if mm. you're serious. Yeah, this is Dave who says, "I know witchcraft is wrong, but what about the magic used in Disney movies or video games? Is it just harmless fantasy?" Uh, no, it's not just harmless fan fantasy. It, it will lead you. 
uh, you know, they have white witches and witches and warlocks and uh, that movie, I mean, that TV show, Bewitched, you know, those around, that she blinks her eyes and all kinds of things happen. Uh, it opens the door to the occult. And the occult is motivated by Satan, and they will take you away from God Almighty. So is it harmless? No, it's not harmless. But what about it? I mean, I don't run Disney, but Disney has made a lot out of fantasy of that nature. All right, do we have time for one more question? Um, I, uh, I don't we think we do. We're probably, we're probably done, but we do want you to know we love getting your, your questions. So whenever we have an opportunity mm. on the program, we hope you'll visit the chat room and submit whatever you'd like to have addressed well, on the show. Thank you very, very much for those questions. I hope I was able to help a few people, but there's some tough questions.